we're looking at Aeromotive's Phantom in-tank fuel pump system, which is actually pretty cool. It's an electronic fuel pump that retrofits into pretty much any tank. And the reason that you can do that is because it's got a modular design. The hanger basket, the anti-slosh baffle are designed so that you can alter their height and put them in just about any fuel tank that has at least six inches of clearance. Now we're going to be installing it on the 71 Dart you see behind me, but before we do that, let's learn more about the car. So when we got this vehicle, it was in pretty much stock format. We went ahead and did the typical bolt-ons that you normally will find. We went ahead and threw on a crane ignition system, a Holley 670 CFM carburetor, the Wyand Stealth four-barrel intake to match the carburetor, and just get some more air breathing through this thing. We added some hooker headers with the pipes cap back exhaust. So this new Phantom fuel system that we're installing gives us flexibility to put in a power plant up to about 750 horsepower. So that opens up the doors for possibly a 360, maybe a big block, or maybe even a Hemi down the road, which is a pretty typical swap for this type of car. Now, the other cool thing with this Phantom system is it allows us to keep our stock style tank, where usually anytime you're putting in something of that much horsepower, you're gonna have to go to a fuel cell to be able to fit the actual fuel pump mechanism in there. But with this Phantom kit, it's a real simple and designed to go in a factory style tank. Now the heart of the system is this turbine style in-tank EFI fuel pump. The Phantom 200 system comes with a pump that will support up to 750 horsepower naturally aspirated or 550 boosted horsepower. Now if you need more headroom than that, you can step up to the Phantom 340 which has a pump that will support up to 850 naturally aspirated horsepower. Now what does Aeromotive mean when they say that it's a modular design? Well thanks to the layout of the hangar, you can cut it to adjust it to accommodate different fuel tank depths. Now the hangar also includes electrical connections on the top, a return line, an outlet line, and a vent line. Now this whole thing is surrounded by an anti slot baffle that actually helps contain fuel around the pickup and help prevent fuel starvation in hard cornering or hard acceleration. Now to help us with the installation, we also have a lot of additional hardware from Aeromotive, including a carburetor fuel log, fuel filter, a fuel pressure gauge, and a lot of different fittings. For this installation, we're going to be using a new tank. Now it's possible to do a retrofit into an older tank, but it has to be scrupulously clean with no fuel vapors, and Aeromotive always recommends using a new tank. Now if you're going to be reusing your old tank, have it professionally cleaned before you use it. You don't want to have 40-year-old gunk floating around and getting into your new fuel system. The Phantom kit can be used with either an EFI setup or a carburetor like we're doing. But because a carburetor requires 6 to 8 PSI, we're going to need to take down the pressure from the pump using a return style regulator system. Now basically what that does is it supplies fuel pressure to the log at the carburetor and then on the other side we'll hang our return regulator which will actually send back excess pressure to the tank and maintain our fuel pressure at the level we need it. We're using an in-tank design as opposed to an inline pump, which a lot of people use just because it's easier to install. Well, what are the advantages of going with an in-tank pump like this? Well, with an in-tank pump, you have quite a few advantages. One, it's going to be completely submerged in the fuel at all times, so you don't have to worry about pickup or starvation issues. Two, because it's submerged in the fuel the whole time, it helps it just run cooler, which extends the life of the pump as well. Yeah, inline pumps a lot of times are going to be exposed to the elements underneath the car, potentially physical damage, and it's just a cleaner way to do the installation. Now, speaking of doing the installation, we are actually fortunate and we've got a nice smooth area on the tank here, but this kit is actually set up to allow you to install it even on a corrugated areas on top, right? Yeah, and that's a situation that you'll commonly run into when you're trying to adapt an older tank like this is a lot of the older tanks were extremely corrugated and no smooth spot to really be able to install the pump nice. But they include a, a nice foam ring that'll help seal around the entire pump and just really help get away from those issues. Well, it sounds like we've really got a winner here and because we're using a stock style tank and not doing a fuel cell inside the car, we're not going to lose any trunk space. Still carry all those groceries around. Oh yeah. Now one of the really cool things about this system is if you're using it on an EFI car, you can control fuel pressure directly using a returnless system and pulse width modulation. And this will work with a lot of different EFI systems like MSD's Atomic EFI, Fast Easy EFI 2.0, and the new Holley Terminator TBI system. It's going to be a great solution anytime you're trying to plumb a return style system with a factory style tank.